What is up, my peeps? Joshua Smith here with another GSD Mode podcast, real estate tip. And today I'm here to talk to you about how to 2.3x or more your real estate business immediately through tracking the right information, tracking the right data, tracking the right numbers inside your real estate business. And today we're not just going to break down what to go out there and track, but even more importantly, how to interpret this data, interpret this information so you can make the right smart uh, smart strategic decisions in your business, know what to scale up, know what to scale down, know what to improve upon in your real estate business. Now, I get and understand that tracking is not the fun, sexy element of the business that most realtors, team leaders, and broker owners enjoy jamming on. However, it is absolutely essential. You are not tracking your numbers. You are not a true professional. You are just an amateur inside this business. And I can promise you this, that you will experience massive amounts of resistance by not tracking your data. Again, tracking does a couple things for us. Not only does it allow us to know what's working, what's not working, what to scale up, what to scale down, allows us to create predictability inside our business. Like as an example, you should always know in your real estate business what your next three or four months are going to look like based on what your track data is showing you know, today and this week and this month. Real estate is one of the most predictable businesses because of the fact that the activities that we're taking today show us the fruits of our labors, you know, over the next three or four months. So it allows us to be, you know, create predictability so we can go out there and ensure that we are hitting our goals. But then from there, it shows us the areas of improvement inside of our businesses. So I always look at tracking like this. Let's just say you're not feeling good. You're sick. You go to the doctor. The doctor isn't just going to throw 50 pills at you and say, okay, take all these. Good luck. Hopefully one of them works. No, they're going to run some tests. They're going to run some vital signs. They're going to run some tests. So then they can pinpoint where that sickness is inside, you know, like where that sickness is. So they know exactly what to go out there and treat. Well, this is what tracking does. And one of the reasons why so many real estate agents and team leaders and broker owners go out there and, and, and experience so much resistance is because they're just swallowing those 50 pills and hoping one works. They're just throwing a bunch of shit against the wall and hoping something sticks versus being able to pinpoint exactly where the biggest area of opportunity, the biggest area of improvement is, where that sickness is inside your business. So we know what to focus on, allocate time, energy, and attention to when it comes to mastering and getting things dialed in that can then turn that element around in our business very, very quickly. So you might be asking yourself with this title, of, well, why 2.3x? Because I'm using that number based off of a case study. So this was a walkthrough I just did a couple times a year. I do a private mastermind with my coaching clients. And one of my coaching clients that was in that mastermind that was having some resistance inside of his business, right? We broke down his numbers and, you know, collectively as a group broke down his numbers. We're able to pinpoint where the area of improvement is or, or was. And this is where the math shaked out but we were able to identify the very specific area of his business. He didn't need more leads. He didn't need to do more dials, right? Like, okay, we were able to pinpoint specifically where that was to go out there and three X his business without again, generating more leads, having to go out there and spend more money, working more hours and so forth. So tracking is essential. Tracking is extremely imperative. And we're going to do a deep dive into this today. All right. So real quick though, before we jump in, look, if you are a real estate agent, if you're an individual agent, real estate team leader, real estate brokerage owner. And if your business isn't exactly where you want and need it to be, look, maybe your business is declining. A lot of people's business is down right now. Maybe your business is staying stagnant, just not growing, just staying kind of status quo. Maybe your business is growing, just not growing at the exact pace that you want and need it to grow at. If that is you, it's like you're operating down here, but you know your true potential is way up here. You just do not know exactly what to do to get from where you're at to where it is that you want to go. If that is you, I invite you to schedule a 100% free, 100% zero pressure Zoom coaching call with me personally. And here's what we're going to break down on this hour-long Zoom coaching call. We're going to break down where your business is currently at, what your 12-month goals are, what your long-term goals, dreams, and visions are for your real estate business, what you are currently doing, what your biggest obstacles are. Then from there, I'm going to walk you through what my personal recommendation is when it comes to your overall strategy to get you exactly from where you're at to where you want to go 
in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner possible. I will make sure by the end of this coaching call that you're like a horse with the blinders on. We're going to eliminate all elements of confusion. We're going to make sure that you know exactly what you must execute on daily, weekly, monthly to, again, make sure you go from where you're at to where you want to go in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner possible. And I 100% promise you this. I got your back. I will get you dialed and you will not leave this one hour Zoom coaching call without knowing exactly what you must do to get from where you're at to where it is that you want to go. This is 100% free, 100% zero pressure. This is not some bait and switch bullshit. I'm here to pour into you and to make sure that you get dialed in inside your real estate business. So if you want to take advantage of this, go to www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. Look, you got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Like I said, I will get you dialed in. I don't care what level that you're at, individual agent, team leader, broker, owner. I promise you, I will get you dialed in and make this the most powerful, not even just free, but most powerful coaching experience. It just happens to be free, happens to be zero pressure, you know, when it comes to that of getting you dialed in that you've ever experienced. Okay, so with that being said, enough on that. Let's just jump on in to, to the topic at hand, which is what to go out there and track or tracking and how to go out there and 2X, 3X, 4X your business extremely fast. And I'm talking like immediately. This is the quickest way to go out there and scale your real estate business. So I'm going to be breaking down what specifically to track, but then how to go out there and read this data so you then know how to go out there and make those, again, smart strategic decisions, those right moves, what to scale, what to scale down, what to allocate time, energy, and focus to improving and so forth within your real estate business. All right, so let's first break down. Well, let me break down how to track first. Look, because I know there's a lot of fancy systems out there. You can go out there and utilize to track your business if you want to go that path. Now, if you were to reach out to me and say, Josh, what are the fancy systems out there? I don't know. I don't use them. Right now, I track my data. I am a tracking freak. You know, if you come to work for me inside my organization and, and everybody that works with me who knows and works, you know, for me, understands and knows that I am a tracking freak. But what do I use to go track my numbers? Look, I just use Google Drive. So inside Google Drive, so that there's no reason or excuse as to why any of you shouldn't be doing this because you can all go out there and create a free Gmail account. Then I go into Google Drive and I create Google Sheets. Google Sheets is essentially just Excel for Google. So that's where I'm building these out. So I have all my different trackers and all the formulas built out in the different trackers to go out there and track this data. So then from there, maybe you're like, well, Josh, I don't know how to use Excel. Okay. You got, you got YouTube. I didn't know either. I had to go spend, I don't know, 90 minutes, maybe two hours on a Sunday afternoon, learning how to go out there and build out Google Sheets and build out the formulas to go out there and track this data. Now, there's a lot of things that you can track, but today I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do what I call the front end tracking, front end element of tracking on client acquisition. So there's a lot of different things for team leaders, brokerage owners, and then we got back end tracking. So that's going to be like your profit and loss statements, your expense reports, you know, revenue reports, all of that. But right now we're talking about client acquisitions of scaling up revenue inside your business. So then when it comes to this per lead source, and I don't care if your business is inbound, outbound, I care if you're doing Zillow, YouTube, you know, cold calling, open houses, it doesn't matter what the method that you're going out there and doing your lead generation or what the lead source is. Here's what we want to track per lead source. So number of leads, number of reach outs. So that's going to be number of dials, number of conversations, number of appointment set, number of appointment conductions, number of clients, number of closings. Now, here's the cool thing about this. This is then going to tell you a story for your mm -hmm. overall real estate business. So now let's just say, okay, I'm doing Facebook and I know that, okay, I, I'm converting one out of 42 leads, which are my numbers with my paid Facebook ads. Then from there, not only do I know number of leads, then if you are, if it's a paid lead source, you also want to know, you know, your average cost per lead that you're able to track on that. So you can know cost per acquisition. So let's just say, okay, when I mean by cost per acquisition, just in case you're not familiar with the terminology, let, let's just say, okay, it costs me after my average cost per lead. I'll just make it simple for math sakes. Let's just say my average cost per lead is $10. Then from there, it's taking me 50 leads to convert one closing. Okay, now I know I got to spend $500 to go out there and close one client. Then let's just say, okay, your average commission is $12,000. Well, now you know, okay, per $500 that you spend, you're going to go out there and gross $12,000. Yeah, right. So that that allows you to understand what your cost per acquisition is, you know, how many leads, you know, per 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 closing. Now, these are things that most people track in our industry. 
at least those that are tracking, like that, that's a very common thing to track. And usually we can reverse engineer that with our CRMs and figure that stuff out. But that's not enough that we got to know that, but that is not enough. Now we got to get into the weeds. So then we got to be able to track our energy and effort of our activities for overall conversion. So we got to know, and this is how you create that predictability because you get to a point where you start to know, like inside my business, when I walk in my business, I know exactly, not just how many leads I must be generating, but I know exactly how many dials, how many conversations and how many appointments set, how many appointment conductions, how many clients to equate to a closing. So each and every single day, I know what I need to do to go out there and win. There is no guesswork inside my business. And if you want to ensure that you are hitting the targets in your business, this is essential. This is imperative. It's the only way to create that predictability inside your business. Ensure that you are not having those roller coaster up and down months. You know, and, and the reason why I beat tracking to death so much on this podcast is because shit, dude, like 99.9% .9 of agents just don't freaking do it and teams and broker owners. I can't tell you how many that I sit down to. I mean, it's about 1% of those that have conversations with that I meet, work with, that I meet with, they're actually tracking correctly inside their business. But I'm telling you, it's the top 1% do, right? The other 99% don't. Um, so this is, again, where it creates predictability, all of that stuff. But then from there, now as we go deeper into this, so that's what to do. And we talked about, you know, where to go track at. So I just recommend to use Google Sheets. It's free. So we can all afford it. It's free. Even if it's not for, you know, are you even to me, I don't just use it because it's free. Like I can go afford any tracking system that I want to go out there and use in my business. The reason why I love Google drive um, is there. I can track anything I want to track. I have no restrictions to it. It's quick. It's easy. You know, once you understand the form is, and if you don't want to build these out, okay, go to Fiverr. F I V E R R Fiverr.com. Go up there and pay somebody 50 bucks or whatever on Fiverr to build you out a tracker. You know, it, it, this, it, there's no excuse as to why you shouldn't be doing it. Okay. So every single day, what am I doing? Okay. I'm rolling up the number of leads per lead source that I'm rolling out. I'm going to track this per lead source, not just number of leads, but again, number of dials, number of conversations, number of appointments set, number of appointment conductions, number of clients, number of closings. So every single day, I'm just tallying this data up. And then by the end of the day, I'm transferring that data that I tallied up onto my tracker. So it's every single day. It ensures I don't miss a day with this. Got to track this every single day. And then I'm having that roll up. So I'm able to see my numbers each month. And then I have it rolling up onto a year to date basis. You know, so I'm always able to see exactly where I'm at in my business. Um, so then from there, if we want to go scale our business by 30% next year, what we know exactly, assuming that everything stays status quo, nothing improves as far as our skill set you know, then we know the exact number of leads and number of activities that we got to go out there and do. Now let's talk about how to interpret this data, right? And this becomes really important because having the predictability is great, but then now I want to see what areas of opportunity do I have inside my business? This is where it's very, very important to understand like what, what, like what's shitty, right? Like I'm going to look at, okay, what's below average, AKA shitty. What's average? What's good? what's great slash exceptional. So then I know what areas of my business that makes most sense for me to go out there and improve. Um, so then with this, now each of these areas, so let's just say, okay, so we start breaking this down. Okay. Let me, let, let's just say, okay, if you're a uh, uh, dial, the conversation rate is lower than it should be. Okay. I know that is either a frequency thing. It's either a timing thing um, or it's a system issue. It's only going to be one of three. And this happens all the time. So I'll just give you, you know, some of the, you know, some of these, as I'm going through this, I'll give you some benchmarks. I'm not going to go through all of them because that way it kind of differ per lead source, you know, um, um, but I'll give you, you know, some basics here, right? Okay. So I want to see, and you should be seeing a 10% or greater dial the conversation rate inside your business. If you are seeing below that, okay, again, it is a frequency issue. It is a timing issue. So you're either, you're not calling enough calling it the wrong times, wrong days, wrong times, um, or it's a system issue, meaning like you got flagged as spam, right? So there's only going to be three things to go out there and fix that. And that can happen instantaneously. Yeah. You know, I was talking with somebody, this isn't based off the example that I'm going to be giving you on this podcast today, but recently I was talking with somebody, uh, 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 an agent that was focused on going after listings. They were hitting the phones hardcore for three and a half hours a day and listing a property a month. And I'm like, dude, something's freaking wrong here. Like you should be listing one and a half properties a week based on your dial, you know, your dial volume. Like there is a problem here. Now, luckily this individual tracked their numbers. We're able to see they had a 2.8% dial the conversation rate. 
Now I'm like, okay, like the cool thing is we can fix that in 10 minutes, but to, to, they need to be at a 10% or greater, but just look at that. If you do the math on that, and I don't, you know, don't have a, a calculator in my brain per se, but what's that three, you know, well over three X. So, you know, theoretically, if they got those things fixed and listened to my advice, they would just three X the amount of conversations. Cause it's not about how many dials, it's about how many conversations we're actually having. So if they're having three X the amount of conversations in the same amount of time, well, then that would theoretically three X their business. Okay. So then from there, so that's, that's going to be dials to conversation rate. Then from there, if your dial or your conversation to appointment set rate is lower than what it needs or should be, then we know it's a skill set issue. Okay, so then from there, you got appointment set to conduction rate. Let's just say that's below what it should be. Okay, you're either you're either not selling the value of the appointment, you're not making them feel comfortable enough, you're setting the appointment too far out, or you're not confirming it appropriately. So and here's the cool thing. Once we understand, you know, based on these baselines, so like an example, let's just say you're getting a 50% appointment set to conduction ratio. And I know that you should be at a 75% or greater. Well, now we know that boom, that's the sickness. So then now we can go out there and start assessing, okay, are you selling the value of the appointment? Or are you making them feel comfortable? Because one of the, you know, kind, kind of defense mechanisms that people will do with leads, right, is understand that they can set an appointment with you because they know that they can cancel or no show you. Yeah, right. So you got to make sure that they feel, you know, selling the value of the appointment, making them feel comfortable, not setting the appointment too far out and confirming it appropriately. Now, sometimes it's a combination of all four of those things, but we know it's one, it's only one of four things. And again, can be a combination of, of, of multiple in there. Um, but now we know what to go out there and fix. Okay. So if your appointment conduction to client taken ratio is lower than what it should be and where I want to see my business is at 90% or greater on that. Okay. Then we know it's a skill set issue. Right. So, okay. And then from there, okay, let's just say your dial the conversation rate is below, or your, I'm sorry, your conversation to appointment set rate is below what it should be. Again, skill set issue. Right. So, in with any one of these, it's either going to be a skill set issue, it's going to be a process issue, you know, or it's going to be a system issue. It's going to be, you know, it's going to live within one of those few things there. Right. So, this is where, you know, or let's just say your client to closing rate is lower than it should be. Okay. Well, you're, you're probably not then qualifying because the whole point of an appointment conduction is to identify ready, willing, able, committed clients that we're moving forward with, you know, so depending on if your business is buyer based or listing based, yeah, right. Like maybe you're, you're not qualifying them heavy enough. You're, you're obtaining a bunch of buyer clients without getting them pre-qualified correctly, or you're maybe taking a bunch of overpriced listings, right? So all of that data, then, then gives us and shows us where those bottlenecks are so we can do a deep dive into those. Okay, so my coaching client, we did a mastermind this past week. We're whiteboarding out his numbers because he wants to scale his business. Um, we broke all these down. So number of leads, right? Broke down his numbers for each of these because he's a coaching client of mine. So of course, he's going to be tracking his data, tracking his numbers because he's listening to me because he's serious and committed about his real estate business. But then from there, okay, his client to closing rate was solid. That wasn't the problem. His appointment conduction to client rate was solid. That wasn't the problem. Then from there, appointment set to conduction rate. That was solid. That wasn't the problem. There were two core problems here, but one main problem. His dial the conversation rate slightly lower than what, what I want to see it and like to see it. So we had a couple conversations around that and things to do to improve that. But the big area of opportunity right within this whole funnel was the conversation to appointment set rate. It was 2.3X below the baseline of where it should be to be at a good number with that. We're not even talking about great exceptional. Right? We're just talking about good, you know, right? Like above average, but good. You know, um, he was 2.3X below what we need and what I want to see those numbers at. You know, so then from there, we knew it was a skill set issue. So then very quickly, it's okay, let's go through your scripting. Walk me through what you were doing, what your conversations are. So then within that scripting, we were able to identify that true root core issue and solve it instantaneously. When I say instantaneously, within like 10 minutes. Now, because he tracked his numbers, we're able to identify the areas of opportunity, then quickly go through, okay, what are you doing? How are you doing it? So we can, we can then identify that true area so we can treat the problem in the right way, no different than a doctor when they're doing a bunch of tests and whatever to pinpoint the true sickness so they know exactly what's going on and where that is at, right? So then from there, we get that one thing dialed in. That's a 2.3X increase that would have led to 
right? If we just get that baseline to where it needed to be, 2.3x. If everything stayed the same, nothing else changed. All we did is worked on that one area of their business. Okay, that's 2.3x more closings with the same amount of leads, same amount of dials, everything else being status quo inside their business. This is the power of tracking in your business. So if you want to go out there and make more money, because I'm telling you this right now, the quickest way to 2x, 3x, or 4x your business is to not 2x, 3x, or 4x the amount of hours that you work. If it was all about just working hard. Now, I'm not going to sit here and ever say that it's not about like that. You don't need to work hard. You do. You got to put in the hours. You got to put in the work for some time. But eventually, you get to the point where you don't need to work near as hard. Um, um, but anyway, I don't want to get off track there. Right. So if, if you are reliant, if your business plan is just working your ass off, well, eventually you're going to be at a max capacity when it comes to hours. And then your quality of life is going to suck and you're going to burn out. And I see it all the time. I mean, I, I see so many agents working 50, 60 hour plus work weeks to go out there and close one or two units a month. Right. And, and that shouldn't be like if you're closing a deal a month as an individual agent, that should be taking you 10 hour work weeks max, two deals a month, 20 hour work weeks max, three deals a month, 30 hour work weeks max. Um, and when I say that, that means that it, like if you have the right strategy, process and skill set, that's what it should shake out to being as an individual agent. And then we're able to then pinpoint and see where those true problems are inside of our businesses. Because the quickest way to do again, two, three, four X your business is two, two, three, four X your skill set. So you're two, three, four, five X better at doing that thing. And now you're going to go out there and get a much greater result in the same amount of time or less, same amount of leads, same amount of money allocation inside your business. But it becomes then an impossibility. Again, we're just throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. No different than like if the doctor gives you 50 pills to go out there and swallow, hoping one works. How do you know which pill actually led to the result? So if you're not tracking this data inside of our business, we don't know what skill set or what process or what system that you need to refine inside your business. Now we're just, again, having to throw shit against the wall, hoping something sticks, and it just is going to create a massive bottleneck inside your business. It's like you're just going to be running against the wind, having all this unnecessary resistance for the whole entire rest of your career, right? And this also comes down to, okay, I, didn't, I know I didn't talk about this at the beginning, but let's just say for you team leaders and brokerage owners, you know, like all tracking, we got to do the same thing for recruiting. But then from there, let's just say, okay, I've got my recruiting, I'm, I'm recruiting agents in, okay, then my onboarding phase, right? So how quickly, because the whole point of onboarding um, is to get our agents dialed in so we can get them producing a deal as fast as possible. So then, okay, as I'm tracking things in here, I can sit there and see what is actually working and what isn't working. So we're not just adding more unnecessary shit that's costing more energy, time, money, bogging our agents down. We're able to sit there and see and pinpoint what is truly working, what isn't truly working, what is truly making a difference and what isn't. Then from there, this allows you to start making, again, those right strategic decisions inside your business. Let's just say you got four different lead sources. All of them are working. All of them are, are generating a, a you know decent ROI, but let's just say lead source number one is generating you a 200% uh, uh, overall gross return on your money. Meaning you stick in a dollar, you're getting $2 back. Let's just say number two is making you a 350% return on your money. You know, right? So you're putting in a dollar, getting $3.50 back. Okay, let's just say lead source number one is getting you a 500% return now on your money. Stick a dollar in, get five bucks back. Let's just say lead source number four is giving you an 800% return in your money. Stick a dollar in, now you're getting $8 back. Now, would it make sense for me to scale up all four of these equally? Maybe it makes sense to cut out number one and number two, and maybe even number three, right? So I can spend much more time, energy, and effort on number four, that's making me an 800% ROI on my money. So this allows us to know what to scale up, what to scale down, how to allocate our time, how to allocate our energy. You know, it, I, I talk to a lot of agents that will say, I ask them like, well, why did you get in real estate in the first place? And they'll say things like, well, I wanted to be able to have like endless income earning potentials so I could go out there and create more money for my myself and for my family. Um, and then I wanted to have, you know, freedom of schedule. But then I'll ask them, okay, are you tracking your numbers? And they're like, nope. I'm like, okay, I know you say you want those things, but actions show what we truly value. Words are hollow. So I know you say you want those things, but you're actually full of shit. Now, this would be after they have awareness that they're supposed to be tracking because it is an impossibility to then truly know and how to go out there and scale up the amount of income that we make. It's also an absolute impossibility to go out there and know how to scale up or down your time. 
right? Um, like if anybody hasn't been tracking their numbers and then they start tracking their data, okay, I can probably very quickly, easily, I can very confidently say this, I can usually 3X their business in about a third of the time. So we can 3X their business results and then cut dramatically down the amount of hours that they're working because they end up wasting and exhausting so much time, energy, effort, and money on shit that's just not working. And then the things that are working, okay, now we can refine those to get those to work so much more damn better inside your real estate business. And this is what the top of the top do. I know I talk about this all the time, but you know, if you want to go out there and, and you know, become the top of the top of this business and continue to grow and scale your business, and what would, in order to do that, it takes treating your business as a business, especially right now. And this economic climate that we are in, that as we're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into this economic winter, you guys have all experienced it over the last two years, how it's all this contraction that's taking place. If you are not treating your business as a business, you are going to get ripped apart. And if you haven't already got ripped apart and your business is already struggling massively over the last couple of years, you know, I'm telling you right now, eventually it is going to. It is just a matter of time. So you got to treat your business as a business. But then from there, we got to just master and hone in and dial in our client acquisition strategies, right? So we can go out there and have the ability to obtain more clients and more customers than we could possibly handle. Well, in order to do that, again, if you're not tracking your data, like all of this stuff becomes an impossibility. Now we're just throwing shit against the wall, hoping something sticks and having no idea what's working, what's not working and so forth. So this is how you 2X, 3X, 4X, or in my coaching clients, uh, 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 you know, kind of case study that I use here for you, specifically 2.3x your real estate business immediately without having to generate more leads, spend more money. You know, it's funny. I talk to so many in this industry that will reach out to me like, oh, my biggest obstacle is, is lead gen. Well, very rarely have I met anybody that actually has a lead gen problem. I mean, once in a while, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but that's very rare. Typically, it's their inability to go out there and convert these leads into customers. That That is the true core problem. Well, how do you know when it comes to your client acquisition skill sets? How do you know what area of your business is the weakness if we're not tracking your numbers? It's just an impossibility. Now we're just making our best guess. And, and look, if you if you make a bunch of best guesses, eventually you're going to get it right. But that's going to take you so much more damn time, energy, money. Yeah, right. And again, create so much more resistance. So if you want to 2X, 3X, 4X your business, continue to grow and scale um, inside your business and your ability to create a predictable business, not have the roller coaster ups and downs and so forth, start tracking your numbers ASAP. It'll be something that you'll thank God forever that you are doing once you start dialing in this. And there's so much power in this even though I get it's the boring, mundane, tedious, unfun, unsexy thing to do. All right, so as we wind this down here, again, if you are an individual agent, team leader, or broker joiner, and your business is not exactly where you want and need it to be, and you do not know exactly what you need to do to get from where you're at to where you want to go in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner possible, I invite you to schedule a 100% free Zoom coaching call, 100% free, 100% zero pressure Zoom coaching call with me personally. And on this hour-long coaching call, we're going to break down where your business is at, what you are currently doing, what your 12-month goals are, what your long-term goals are, what you're doing, what your biggest obstacles are. And during this coaching call, I'm going to map out, hey, if I were you, if we switch places, if I were you, based on what your goals are, because real estate is very nuanced. There's no best strategy for everybody. We got to look at your situation, what your goals are, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses. We got to put all these different pieces together to come up with the best client acquisition strategy and growth strategy for you personally, based on your business. I'm going to map out exactly what I recommend that you do to get from where you're at to where you want to go in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner possible. You got nothing to lose, everything to gain through this. So make sure that you schedule this ASAP. I can't do these forever. It's just something that I'm doing temporarily right now with the podcast. I don't know how long I'll be able to continue these because I'm busy just like I know you're busy in your business and this isn't something that's scalable with me personally doing these coaching calls, but I'm doing it now. I know a lot of you need my help. And if you're struggling and you're not taking advantage of this free coaching call, shame on you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you out. I'm here to get you dialed. I promise you, I will get you dialed in. You will not leave this free coaching call with not knowing exactly what you must do to get from where you're at to where you want to. It'll be like a horse with the blinders on. We're going to remove any guesswork. You're going to have extreme clarity on what to do to get from where you're at to where you want to go. And I promise you this. I got your back. I will get you dialed. And this isn't some shallow bullshit, bait and switchy thing that maybe you've experienced before. I'm here to pour into you. I will. I got you covered. Again, you got nothing to lose, everything to gain here. So if you want to take advantage of this, go to www 
www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. Now, full disclosure, I'm going to spend 50 minutes going through everything I just talked to you about. Then, yeah, the last 10 minutes of this coaching call, I'm going to spend a couple minutes walking through what my coaching program entails. And look, if it's a fit for you, great. If not, that's okay too. We can still be friends. I've got a very strict absolute pressure policy. I'm not going to hard push you. I'm not going to beg you to whip out a credit card. Look, if it's something you want to move forward with, cool. Not that's okay too. Like we can still be friends, right? You know, when it comes to that. So again, www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. All right, guys, truly appreciate you being here. Hopefully this is helpful. Go get your data, uh, your tracking system dialed in inside your business. If you were to join my team here in Phoenix, Arizona, that is the first thing that I do with any of my agents. Step number one, we get the tracking system dialed in. Step number two, we get their CRM dialed in. Step number three, we get their uh, buyer presentation and, and listing presentation, get their world-class buyer consult, listing consult dialed in and in place. Step number four, we get their past client sphere of influence strategy in place. Step five, and only once those four things are dialed in, because those are the foundations of our business, like everything else doesn't matter if we don't get those four things dialed in. Step five is coming up with their new client acquisition, aka their new lead gen lead follow-up strategies to go out there and start getting now business. So get that dialed in. There's a reason why it's number one on my list. And this is how I'm able to take brand new agents fresh out of school and get them making 30, you know, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month, even after splits within the first six months, because we get the right things and the right foundations in place out of the gate. All right, guys, keep crushing, keep kicking ass. I will see you next time. Peace.